pesto. Cheap to buy, but cost a fortune to make myself. How on earth do you make your pesto so cheap? You've got basil, olive oil... And pine nuts are expensive, and the parmesan. I haven't got his answer for you, to be honest. Got to go and see my mate down the Italian deli. Ciao. OK, bye. Bye. Us Brits love pesto, but the ingredients are seriously expensive. So how come the supermarkets can sell it so cheap? I'm off to Genoa in Liguria, northwest Italy, considered by Italians to be the traditional home of pesto since Roman times. Cue the moped and Andrea San Pietro, who represents farmers in the area. Andrea. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. In general, there are little spaces, and so basil farms are over the top on hills. The locals here are very choosy about their basil. So we're heading up into some very unforgiving terrain. Oh, this is going to be fun. Where are we going now? It's incredibly steep. The director's got his work cut out with this one. Oh, very good. Very good. We made it. That was quite, yeah, quite yeah. a tricky hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ridiculous. I can see why you're on a bike now. Early pesto used any available green herbs until basil arrived from India in the 1800s and the recipe stuck. Time to get a closer look. It's quite hot in here. It all seems a bit laid back in here. Ciao, Sergio. Good morning. Good morning, Sergio. Sergio, Sergio. Matt, Matt Sergio. Sergio Casotti's farm has been in his family for three generations. Working with his father, he uses age-old techniques to produce the famous basil. This way to, to pick up is uh, the typical uh, way in Genoa yeah. for basil uh, genovese, right. so that you don't uh, crush it. Amazing. I, do, I did not believe this is how you pick yeah. basil. Can I have a go? Yeah, you have to try. You have to put uh, on this wood the same position. They might need a bigger plank, to be honest. Jeez! OK. <laughs> OK, I'm good. Adesso prendi le piante più grandi. Just the biggest? Solo le più grandi. This is, this is really hard work. Oh, how many, how many hours a day do you do this for? E noi facciamo questo lavoro 7, 8 ore al giorno. I've had it, I've been doing it five minutes. This is ridiculously difficult. Harvesting this way is much more expensive than mass production. But local connoisseurs believe basil grown and picked the old-fashioned way is best, and they're prepared to pay for it. <laughs> I think Sergio's father's got the right technique. Looks like he's having a little nap. After seeing all that effort, I'm desperate to know how supermarket pesto is so affordable. So I've travelled 50 miles to Asti, home of Sackler, whose pesto sells for just over £2 a jar. Ah, ciao. And to show me around is export manager Sara Sacco-Bottle. Amazing smell in here. That yes. fresh kind of basil. Yes. Wow, there's loads and loads of it. But is this the special basil I saw grown in Liguria? You know, Liguria is a very tiny production. OK. So it's uh, uh, for artisanal right. production. So no fancy basil here, then. This stuff is grown on a large scale just outside the Liguria region. Sackler have spent over two decades perfecting their recipe, and oil is a key ingredient. But this doesn't look like extra virgin olive oil. We have a high percentage of sunflower and a lower percentage of extra virgin olive oil. If you use only extra virgin olive oil, it overwhelms the taste. So if you use 100% extra virgin olive oil, it'd be, uh, it'd be very expensive and uh, it would be very strong in taste. Yes. Instead of expensive Reggiano Parmesan, they use a mixture of Pecorino and the cheaper Grana Padano cheese. These have a shorter ageing process, which means they cost less to produce. Can I, can I smell it? Wow, it's beautiful. Very strong. And then they add the nuts. You can see fine kernels and crushed cashew nuts. And why do you use the combination of the two? Uh, the pine nuts uh, give labour. Yeah. The cashew nuts uh, give uh, a crunchiness. The pine nuts, I know, are very expensive. Yeah, So, you are right. in order to sell a jar for a couple of euros or a couple yeah. of pounds, you need to keep costs down yeah. in, in certain and places. The cashew nuts help uh, to control. OK. 
With our insatiable appetite for pesto, they need to swap some of the traditional ingredients for cheaper alternatives to create the affordable jars we find on our supermarket shelves. It's good, there's lots of cheese in it. Big, strong taste of cheese. You're a major player. If it wasn't for the compromising in very expensive ingredients and, and a, affordable ingredients and getting that recipe right, people all around the world wouldn't be eating pesto. Yeah, now people around the world can know 